Hi, I'm Dennis Mazuri and welcome to the first episode of Wagtail Screencast. For this tutorial, we'll need the following installed. First, Vagrant. A link to the Vagrant website's download page is provided in the video description below. Visit the page and select the appropriate installer for your Windows operating system. Once you have Vagrant installed, create a folder in Drive C called Wagtail VM and within it, create a new file and call it Vagrant file. I've provided a link below to the Vagrant file I'm using. Click on the link and paste the file's contents into the Vagrant file you created in the Wagtail VM folder. Now that we have Vagrant set up, we need a shell that supports SSH which is required when logging into the Vagrant box. I recommend installing Git and using the Git bash terminal that is provided with the installation. Now that we have what we need, open up your Git bash terminal and let's get started. Within the Git bash terminal, navigate to the Wagtail VM folder. If you created it within the drive C as specified earlier, you can navigate to it using the command highlighted on the screen. Type Vagrant app to start and provision the Vagrant environment. This will use the configuration specified within our Vagrant file to do so. And since this is the first time you're running Vagrant app, it will take time because it has to download and install a Vagrant box from which it can set up our virtual environment. The box we're using is provided by Torchbox, the organization behind Wagtail. Their box has all the system libraries we need to run some of the Python packages Wagtail depends on, such as Libsas Python, which is used for SAS compilation, and Pillow, which is used for image processing. Once Vagrant Up is done, we can log into our Vagrant box by typing Vagrant SSH. We'll create a folder called Wagtail Tutorial in the home directory of a virtual environment. This is where we'll house our project. Navigate into the folder using the command highlighted on the screen. Next, we'll create a virtual environment to house our Python packages using the make virtual env command provided by virtual env wrapper. Virtual env wrapper is a set of extensions to Ian Baking's virtual env tool. To learn more about it, check out the link provided in the video description. Setting up virtual end wrapper on the Vagrant box has been left as an exercise to the viewer. We can install the Wagtail package using the command highlighted on the screen after the virtual environment has been created. After it's done, we can create our first Wagtail project by typing Wagtail Start, followed by the name of the project. I'll call mine Hello Wagtail. After the project setup is done, we'll need to be within our project to perform the next set of commands. So navigate to it using CD followed by the project name you selected. Next, we'll perform a migration. Afterwards, we'll create a super user to access the admin section in Wagtail. Keep the details in mind, as we'll need them later. We can start the Django server using the command on the screen. and access the application on the browser using localhost 8080. Let's log into the admin section of Wagtail using the super user credentials we earlier used. We should see only one page, which is the default home page provided by Wagtail. Let's click on it. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.